Hello everyone, welcome to episode 3 of this Bopolis playthrough. This is episode 3 of YouTube, after stream 2 of StreamTube. Uh, so, I'm standing here at the bottom of a amount of water, and I can hear in the distance some baddies. I've dug out my uh, mob farm, which I created on stream. So I created on stream this mob farm, uh, literally just said that, and then... I've updated it since then. So if you missed the stream, this is what I was doing. Made a bit of a hole in the... What's this called? Calcite layer. This is a door, except not a door. Uh, if I want to go in, I dig through there. Do you want to... See, I want to show you inside. Let's, let's have a look inside. So what I've done is... I've put this layer of cobblestone wall all the way around. That way, if a spider spawns, it will get stuck at the bottom and not keep climbing to the top. Over here... There is the usual set of... See, now that it's aggroed. That's kind of why I made that door, so that you could aggro an enemy that's in there and um, you know, try and get it to come down to you. Ow. Getting a few drops. I've put those oak trapdoors up there, so this is three deep. Anything... The idea of the trapdoor is that mobs believe it to be walkable on, but it's not, and therefore they... You know, fall into the water, they get pushed this way, but they do have to wander onto it in the first place, which is why it's a little bit of a trouble. There's a chest here where the stuff gets collected. And, and I do have a bow, which I've kept, so that if a bad, bad is all the way over there and I can't quite aggro it, I can just shoot it. Um, speak of the devil. But, yeah, in general, it's not hugely effective, but hopefully if we spend some time sort of away from it, bad will accumulate down here over time. It's not that big of a deal. So that means that I have done a lot of Hostile Mobs 1. In fact, I finished Hostile Mobs 1. So we need to look at Hostile Mobs 2. Hostile Mobs 3 is easy because it was underwater. We did underwater, I think, in the last episode. And I did more of it on stream. So I've got to get these ones done. Six, 79 to 65, which I think is in between the water and... Well, not water. <laughs> above it. I've made all this um, stairs. I have to go all the way down to that's uh, bituminous, bituminous sand. All of this is stairs, and all of this is water. So, in here, bit of a sneaky Minecraft physics thing. Hello, shiny squid. So all of this here's our stairs going straight through the water. It took me a long time in between the stream and now uh, building the sort of the shell of this, the carcass, <laughs> as it were. And then filling in every single one of these things. This is all water, right? So I had to fill it all in and dig it all out again to make it not be water. But we finished. And then when I put all these stairs in, I kept hitting my head. So I've also dug this out by one more layer. Um, so there you go. That's what I've done in between streams. But on stream, since I'm sure people who weren't here are dying to know, we did some stuff. <laughs> not a huge amount of stuff. We've greatly improved our farm. Oh, I did make these, and I made next one of these because I was on stream and not paying attention, so I did it wrong. Uh, we've made some potatoes. Some of this happened in between streams, by the way, so anyone who did watch the stream and still thinks, hey, when did that happen? Uh, I, I basically continued this quest line from the organic producer. So we started and completed this quest line on stream. A lot of it was just waiting and waiting for this thing here to produce stuff. Right, so you put stuff in here, for example, let's say we wanted to make some grass. You put eight dirt and some green wool, obviously, into there and it produces grass with dirt. You put eight moss blocks and a moss ball into there, it produces dirt. So we have to get a decent supply of moss, because every one of those moss balls is, of course, four uh, moss blocks. It's four moss balls. So that's a huge, Im that's one stack of moss blocks to make one piece of dirt and eight pieces of dirt to make a piece of grass. Uh, so this I set up on stream. There's a, another igneous extrude. I'm making use of the fact that this single piece of lava has been here since Kingdom Come. Uh, and <laughs> maybe I should put this here so I can have two more. Anyway, this is creating moss balls because underneath it, which you can't see because I put this in the way, underneath this is a piece of moss stone, which is dead easy to make. Um, I did that on stream. But this... I think I theorized previously how that could work, uh, and it turned out to be perfectly... Excuse me? It was easy to make. How did I make it? Don't know. 
Or maybe it's mossy stone. It's mossy stone, so it's stone and moss, right? So under there is mossy stone, which is there, which is making moss balls out of those two things. I set up these. I fixed my annoying um, pipes here. So this one is not doing anything. This one is not doing anything. All right, this one is both pulling and pushing, right? So it's got a retrieval module, which is pulling moss balls, and it's got a pushing module, which is pushing out moss blocks. So this is collecting the moss balls. It's just a fragment combined like we had upstairs. We're producing these, and we've got 12 stacks already. I say already, <laughs> I've used many, many stacks creating all the grass. We needed the grass because we needed to create a red mushroom, and a red mushroom is, of course, red and ball. So you have a red mushroom and a green mushroom, well, a brown mushroom, knocking around the place somewhere. I did all that. Uh, we've been through all of this. So I, I finished this off stream in between. So if you were on stream and you saw that, welcome. <laughs> you've you've been appraised of my updates. Uh, we made all of the diving helmets. We made a lot of marine fabric. Oh, so another way that I had of doing this was to do this. So this was slow and boring. So what you can do is you do exactly what we did very early on, which is to do that, to do this, boop that, and then vein mine it. <laughs> Loud. That gave me 26 of those and a bunch of other stuff. So that's pretty decent. And you can use this tool to just sort of put it back. I don't want to accidentally replace that block there, so I do have to be careful. Because that's my water source block, of course, that's keeping that going. It's not that big of a deal. It's not like I can't put the water back, but at the same time, that's effort, right? Uh, I've made some uh, sandwiches out of zombie flesh. We had a, a bit of an experiment. Can you put zombie flesh in a sandwich? You can. There seems to be maybe a 50% chance that you will then get a hunger debuff by eating it, but you won't get poisoned, which is fine with me. I have a... Uh, rotated this this was just this flat wall before we moved all of these on stream we put down these trims so that everything could be connected to that and that since then i've put even more in i'm starting to store tools in you can put 32 pickaxes in here for example right i've got eight axes in there i've got several of those in there that's because i'm using stone ones and i'm getting through them so quickly so that's pretty much everything that we did on stream was to just progress through those quests we do have a few more quest quests to progress through here there's an item terminal allows you to take and insert items into your chests when connected to your pipe. So this either goes next to or over a chest. Could just be a chest as far as I can tell. Uh, and you can connect a pipe to it. So currently you can't connect pipes to chests, I would imagine. Let's prove that. I had a chest. There's one. This is a stone chest, which I'm not. Oh, you can. Well, I don't know then. In fact, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? Because you can connect it to that, so of course you can connect it to this. You go in there. Uh, I'm going to start picking stuff up as a result of that, because of reasons. <laughs> uh, it was trying to send stuff into the chest, and the chest disappeared, so it's just sent it back. Um, there was a couple of problems with all this spitting things out again. So what I've done is I've replaced most things with pullers. When this is full, this is going to be a problem. Except if I put in a stack limiter, but that didn't seem to work too well. So at some point, I'm going to want to make this into a retrieval module instead, which automatically, um, oh, high tiers prevent oversending. So maybe not, <laughs> I don't know. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I don't care right now. So let's, uh, today I want to do a little bit of automation. So there's one thing that's coming up actually, which we really need to look at, which is going to be, um, well, apart from this crafting terminal, it's going to be the fact that we're going to need redstone and things like that. So we had a look at what redstone is made from. And it turns out that it's just the fragment combiner of redstone fragments. So it's the same ore forming water, except we need this upgrade tier 1 instead of tier 2. And that's this bitumen, this red sand, and uh, a base upgrade, so we can make another one of those. I guess it's a tier 1. So up here, of course, if we do that, we can't really justifiably remove this tier one here this upgrade this base upgrade because then we won't get any of the stuff that this is creating although this is actually creating a lot of stuff right now we could probably get it to stop um so i'm wondering i've got a couple of options one of them is that maybe we just let this thing run until it overflows and deal with the consequences um of 
uh, that specific one that I just showed you, that formy thing. So this um, combiner over here can just run until it fills up, right? And then it's going to start dropping stuff on the floor and being a mess. But this has been running for hours and it's only made that much stuff. So this is really, really slow. Or we could make another one of these to create even more ore forming water, another one of these to extract it, and another one of these and upgrade this. So either we make, okay, we're going to have to make another one of these anyway. But do we want to have one ore extractor and just change what it does whenever we need stuff of different types? Or do we want to have two? And the reason I'm thinking maybe we can afford, well, the reason it might be a problem to have two is that this seems to be just about keeping up, right? This is, this is in parity. This has always got 56. This has never filled up, right? And it's 56, and then another one shows up. And then another one shows up. So two arrive at once, and then two get used. And then that goes into there. So this is, and this has never filled up or gone down. So it seems like all of this is in balance, and that, I presume, is by design, right? This is creating lava at a fixed rate. That's using lava at a fixed rate. But it's using the stone that comes out of it at a fixed rate. Hang on. Lava goes into there. Remind me how this works. <laughs> lava goes into here. Lava and stone pebbles go into there. That's right. So the stone pebbles come from this thing down here. So we've got um, one thing producing stone pebbles. Yeah. One thing producing lava. The stone pebbles are actually produced at exactly the right rate. In fact, I think these are uh, overproduced. Ah, these might be overproduced. Because it stopped, it keeps stopping, you see that? So we may have enough of a supply of stone pebbles. We don't have enough of a supply of lava, I would have to suggest. It's possible that we have enough lava. So we'll have to find out, basically. We definitely have enough water. That's not a problem. So we can probably make another alloy mixer, make some more uh, ore forming water and have a second one that's producing all of this. So because it was easy to make, these are easy to make, these are very low tier stuff now. Uh, we could probably do that, all this again. Yeah, we're gonna have to make all of this, but we can probably do that. Let, let's see if that is a quest that I am now jumping ahead of. It's over here in more ores. Ah, so, Let's just play with this um, questline. <laughs> Why not? So let's have a look at what it's telling us to do. Uh, there is some other automation that I would like to get to, and I will tell you about that in a minute. But let's uh, let's make some progress. Sandstone, but red. I'm guessing it's red sand. So I've put all the things that I've been collecting over here, like this. Oop. Red sandstone. I could have mined it. I chose not to. <laughs> it's, it's down there. It's a bitumen. Bitumen comes from an eroder. You put the bituminous red sand in the eroder. There's also bituminous sand as well. So there you go. Bituminous red sand goes in the eroder. We can do this. Please press, please press escape. There we go. One stack. So in here, I've actually made some cobblestone because we're always low on cobblestone. Then so maybe this is done. Nope, not done yet. Done. Hey, where did my sound go? What have I done? Uh, back in the tick. I think actually it's fine, but my computer is quiet. I don't know how my computer suddenly got turned down. Fiddling with my headphones? Anyway, um, we've got bitumen. And bitumen makes the ore extractor tier one. So um, was this easy? Green mixed stone ingot and what was that? Red sandstone. So we'll make a little bit more of that. One, two, three. And go away. We've got plenty of this now. This is coming out of our ears. Uh, this should be finished by now. And then we want this. Yep. And then this. Yoink. Chapter completed. Boom. Right, well, thank you for joining me on this chapter. <laughs> that was very easy. These things I just found, I went digging. Uh, you saw that when I was showing you the water. Uh, that was all below the water. It's brilliant. And then over here, let's try making these then. Uh, 
uh, we'll add one of those and we'll add one of those. Ah, there's a redstone, you see. That's probably why I wanted redstone. Why? Did I not just add? What? So confused. Um, brilliant. So I guess we're making redstone. Redstone is in this layer. These are unlocked now. So in your extractor from ore forming water, all of these can be made from that. So I'm guessing this is the second layer. So I'm going to off camera uh, craft more of those things and then we'll put them down and see what happens. How about that? See you in a minute. Over here, by the way, over here, we have made all the forms of tree. That was part of this thing. I've got seven sets of drawers. These are not dropping into the drawers, by the way. These are all doing what they want. Uh, the way you do that is you put a hopper in here, but we haven't got iron yet. So we can't make a hopper yet and the wooden hopper didn't work. So I just thought I'd uh, show you this. I had to come over here to get some more of this stuff anyway. So I've been manually doing this every so often. <laughs> Oops. And uh, yeah, see you in a minute. There we are then, this should work. Let's put a second one of these here. So this should continue to get both lava and water. Yeah, look how fast it's coming out now. This is how fast it can send it. So this is also going to... Right, so that suggests... At least we can output the lava fast enough. Let's see if we can keep up. I mean, once it's full... Right? And even this is keeping up. So we've got plenty of stone. So this should be fine. Oh, well, actually, <laughs> I didn't put any pipes down. They're in the box. Do I need to make more pipes? Perhaps. No, we've got some pipes. I've got a fluid pipe, but I don't think I need it, but I'm going to bring it anyway. I think I'm going to move all this at some point as well. Uh, this is... I don't like it up here, basically. You are doing what? Your low retriever and... Oh, I should... Alright, back in a sec. Okay, mm low retrieval module with stone pebbles in. So let's just start getting some stone pebbles into there. Here they come marching through now. How quickly can you send them? Quite fast. So when that fills up again, this should catch up. That seems to be keeping up quite well, to be fair. What do you think? So you'll be making some ore forming water in any time. There we go. Right, cool. So we're going to basically emulate this. What do we have? This has probably got a fluid retrieval module. I guess I'll be making some more modules. Uh, off camera. You are just sending? Okay, you're sending everything. So let's, I thought let's mirror it. So this. And then this, and then pipe, pipe, and then the modules. Now the modules were really annoying, believe it or not. Uh, luckily, I started cooking even more of this because we're going to need it. Uh, there's a lot of <laughs> a lot of hoppers involved in those, and of course we have run out of um, these, which is smooth stone slabs, which is smooth stone. Make as many of those. Was it in here? Is that what you said? Ooh, bitumen. Yeah. I put some bitumen in here. I don't know if you noticed. Did I show that? I can't remember. Yeah, I don't need the smooth stone for anything else. So there's some blank modules. Uh, you've seen this. Back in a sec. Okay, so this goes in here to retrieve that fluid, but unfortunately it has decided to fill itself up with actual water. We can't reset it, <laughs> apparently. Uh, fine. And do you need, you need the upgrade, right. So what if we, <laughs> how do we do, I think we might have to pick up this. Yeah, well we can't, mm. hang on, we're going to have to stop the other one from sending for a while. Let's get our wrench. Let's go up here now, up the uh, rainbow stairs. Pick this one up. Stop this from doing that. Right. Well, actually, you can go back. I'm happy with you. There's my module. So are you already configured? Yes. Good. So then break this and hopefully... Oh, I broke that anyway. Hopefully that means that this is now empty. Yes. So you are... Look at the size of that lump. <laughs> Gloop. That was 3,200 millibuckets all at once. That looked like it was just waiting to go, didn't it? And then you here, 
and then you can get the extraction module and you shouldn't be able to put anything in there now because it won't fit brilliant then you get this and then you need an extractor i didn't make you an extractor make you an extractor and that's going to be even more blinking hoppers no doubt uh extractor low no low extractor just two wooden hoppers one two no cards left? Because I didn't pick them all up. I was impatient. One more of those. So again, this is all going to go horribly wrong when it overfills. <laughs> and that gets full of that. But look. Redstone fragment. Quest complete. Iron fragment. Lead fragment. Nickel fragment. One, two, three. Nice. Doop, doop. And do, and then you're going to give me some actual redstone dust. Legendary. Look at that. Raw lead, raw iron, raw nickel, and a block of redstone, and then the ingots of those, and dust from that, and eventually constantan. Smelted constantan dust. The eroder. Yes, we know this. What have you got for me? Nickel. So now we wait. Meanwhile, I guess I'll show you what else I was hoping to do. Uh, this stuff can live in here still one of the things i'm hoping to do because there's no bigger chests which i found interesting for a, a sky block there are no larger versions of chests and uh, i think minecraft has a barrel right yeah but i think it's just the same size as a chest so that's not helpful um run and you go but you know what i've also been this one's always had a little bit of mini charcoal or similar in it so let's make sure that we smelt some nickel then over here so because i was telling you about um these okay fine right, the first thing i'd like to do is to get all these to be hopperized but another thing that might be helpful is to have because this was tedious you know constantly switching these out it might be nice to have a bunch of these then again that's all the, the grass doesn't spread by the way in case you're wondering why that was tedious. So I planted some grass and dirt next to it. It didn't spread from one to the other. Which now I realise. How has this sheep got its... Like this sheep grew its wool back at some point. And I put two grass blocks there for them to eat. But those grass blocks are not going to turn back into... Like, when they eat a grass block it becomes a dirt block. But it won't go back. Um, so how are you going to ever regrow your stuff without me having a constant supply of grass so i would like to have a thingy that is outputting grass into a chest one of these so that means i need a thing producing moss that is then producing moss blocks but also letting me keep the moss so it's putting some of that moss into one of these and then those moss blocks will also go into the same one of these and then that will be output into a drawer that's not too onerous actually um so then on top of all that the other thing we might like to do is to reproduce this igneous extruder concept, especially this one. If we have one of each of these underneath it, we'll get the products of that type of stone. Right. So if we have a look at the igneous extruder, uh, the uses of it. If we put blue colour stone, we get blue colour stone, white, etc. Yeah. If we get put granite, we get granite pebbles, we get andesite pebbles, etc. I'm assuming if we put bright stone. We get the brightstone shards. Yep. So all the types of things we can put underneath it will produce a, a, an appropriate output. So we, there's 12 of those, which is weird because 16 of them should be these coloured stones. How many coloured stones are there? <laughs> yeah, 16. So not all these work, apparently. Uh, so great. One. Uh, oh, it's 12. That's 24. Okay. Never mind. I can I can do maths. Um. So we could make 24 igneous extruders and output all their stuff into ta -da, this thing. So that is an option. And if I can make a void upgrade, which I'm guessing needs um, obsidian. Any stone. I know what? I could have been voiding these all this time. Any balm stones? What is balm stones? Can I do that here? No. Uh, 
don't make me edit it. <laughs> search. Uh, tag search mode. Change. Require prefix. What is the prefix? <laughs> what is the prefix? Let's uh, let's ask the internet. J E I tag search prefix. Uh, tooltip item ID dollar. So if we go dollar bomb, right? Well, guess we'll never know. You can search multiple queries at once by separating with a pipe. Well, we'll never find out. Let's not waste any more time on that. We want to make some void upgrades to get all that sorted out. Uh, maybe to get this sorted out, because that means that this will never overflow if we can put one on there, which means nothing will fall out, which is great. Let's see how we're doing on this. So uh, I was thinking maybe we can make a whole bunch of that stuff. I'm not sure if I'll do it in this episode, but maybe I'll do it between episodes, because we're here for... Yay! Um, progress. We're doing progress on stream, so let's get some of this, put one in there. And then what I like to do is maybe put six, seven, eight, get a stack of mini charcoal, and then we can cook up anything that we need to one at a time without wasting any of this precious charcoal that is so precious. Capiche? Ah, good. Lots more mixed stone ingos. Put everything in there that lives in there. Well, why don't you watch me see whether we can actually make that void upgrade. So it's an upgrade template which is sticks in any drawer. I put all my drawers down, but the drawers made some, never mind. And then surround that with any balm stones, which is just the same diorite, but there's a lot of this. What is a balm stone? <laughs> is it any stone? That's just andesite, look at that. So like this And oop. that's amazing. If I'd known that, I would have done that ages ago. We're getting a lot of that. We're getting a lot of that. We're getting a lot of. I mean, that's upgraded the whole drawer, but whatever. <laughs> who, 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 who cares? Who's counting? Um, and then we've got five left. We can just put on anything. In fact, I want seven. Now I think about it. I want seven more. Well, I want seven altogether. Not in use. Seven like this. Two more. Because now that we've got iron cooking, we're going to start making hoppers. We're going to start making hoppers. We're going to want these to be void in their stuff, right? Because the number of sticks we've got is absurd, <laughs> by the way. See, I'm doing this manually, but it's just so silly. I don't need to. I'm glad that the... Um... This is Dark Oak, yeah. I'm glad that the axes take no damage from all this. It's a bit OP, but I'm also not complaining. There we go. So, yes, we've got more progress because we have made some things. And also, I said I was going to keep digging in that direction, and I still am. So some of this automation is going to live over there. I'm thinking of moving some of this stuff over there. And maybe we just dig through here, you know, and make a bit more of a tunnel out of it and have some stuff back there. I don't know. Because we want to eventually hook pipes up to this, don't we? Um, which is obviously right there. So, um, my best, best laid schemes of mice and men gang after Glay, and this scheme has ganga Glay quite thoroughly. We could probably put some lapis in a drawer. I'm not, there's no rhyme or reason to where I'm putting these things right now. Oh, the other thing I was thinking is maybe we can use hoppers, etc. Um, to make a, an infinite supply of charcoal. That would be really good, wouldn't it? Yes. So how are we doing here? There's my iron. Acquire, hard, acquire hardware. And we completed this quest. We can probably put the nickel and iron in here. One of those in there. One of those in there. I bet we have more nickel now. 
bring my nickel back, nickel back, nickel back. Don't say nickel back. It's naughty, it's rude. Well, you can cook that. And why don't we do the same thing here? You turn into baby ones. Put that in there, put that in there. You can go in there, why not? And when you're cooked up, we can cook these. Standard. Mad for it. Right, there you go. Put that in there. Yes. Nice. Good. You live in here. You live in here. You live in here. You live in here. Your seeds. I don't want you. <laughs> so with the void upgrade, of course, we can just get rid of anything we don't really care for anymore. Should we have a look at our mob farm whilst we're waiting for stuff to happen? See there, I got hungry from that one. Baddies one. Teleport. So have you fallen down? Yeah, look at that. So a couple of them are just... The idea is that they wander in here sort of with brownie in motion, right? I should have made this one layer deeper, but I got bored digging, <laughs> frankly. Because uh, they can jump up onto that and I have to wait for them to come back. It's annoying. Uh, and I'm also not entirely sure what use this is, frankly. <laughs> it's a farm now, but... It's not really giving me much of value, except maybe arrows. They might be useful in the future. Um, yeah, so I'll put everything that's tool-like in here. Except for the things I want to keep, obviously. And we should start making some more torches. Because we can auto-craft stuff, I think that's what it was saying. So we've also got this here. That's what we're looking at. Let's look at those. Because we can make the um, item terminal no problem. It's just everything that we don't have. Uh, it's one chest, it's some of these, it's there over here, two, so this costs us nothing. We do need to make a second one actually, so let's, um, let's think this through, because we're going to want an item terminal, I'm guessing we're going to want an item terminal to act as an item terminal as well as having one that acts as becomes part of this. So we need three redstone and a crafting table. I actually have got a crafting table left over. We've got three redstone thanks to the power of waiting for things. Nice. Chapter complete. Prisbury. Hooray! So let's put this down and see what it looks like. Crafting terminal. It needs to be connected to a pipe network. How about now? It is connected to a pipe. <laughs> Fine. No tool. Can you use this tool? No. <laughs> Of course not. It's only part of the same pipe network. So pretty pipes also does. Boink. Crafting item terminal request what? Crafting terminal. I. That's amazing. This is actually like AE two. So this is showing me what's in the inventories that are connected to the pipe network. So if we can make sure that this doesn't overflow, we could connect this to that trivially and just see everything that's in it and start crafting stuff. So does that mean we can make... We might do... I don't... Allows you to craft items with items in your pipe network. How do I pick what to craft? It does work with JEI actually. But I can't, I can't press R on here. Sending one moss block. <gasps> Thank you. Is it back? <gasps> it went back. <laughs> this is like old bill craft. Old Billcraft pipes. You remember, does anyone? Anyone? No? Remember that? That was really good. Item. So this just shows you what's in it. It doesn't act as a chest. It does act as a chest. It's an interface into the network, not uh, like it doesn't go over a chest and let the chest be part of the network, which is what I was confused by because this seemed like it was going to do that anyway, right? You now? Oh, you are still sending stuff.
No, that's still working. I thought that had stopped working, but I just must have looked at, looked at it at the wrong time. It's just fine. Why have I got a bucket of ore forming water? Because I needed to program this thing. But... Okay. So, yeah, brilliant. All that's working. We've done that one. More ores. We're going to get those two. We can make some constantan as a result of that. Uh, let's have a look at Constantan, actually, because I need to know what sort of things we need for it. Just one of each. Nickel and copper. That's interesting, considering it was making me make iron dust. Oh, you can't make iron dust. What? No, it can't. Oh, you need two, don't you? Uh -huh. Yes. So I should have some more nickel in here. There we go. Uh, let's cook that. Let's cook. Well, you're cooking that. I forgot to take you out. That's okay. Uh, one more of these. It's very pesky that it's too. So we've got some more copper dust. I'm making iron dust. You're making nickel dust. There's a quest completed. There's a quest completed. And there's a quest completed. And there... Is it going to be a quest completed as well? Boop, boop, boop. Kind of pesky I've got an iron dust left. What am I going to do with that? Let's find out. Uses. It will make invar. So we need more of that. So let's keep hold of it. And boop. And boop. It's nice to have iron just waiting in here for something to happen. Look at all this though, right? So if we can automate um, charcoal and stuff like that, we can start just getting through all this and turning it into useful stuff. Bing, bing, bing. And a constant turning got There we go. Quest complete. Is that this chapter done? No, we need block of redstone. Well, we could probably do that in a second. And blocks of redstone, in fact, are very good because that's the gate to the next level of these retriever modules, right? So the low retriever module is that, but the medium one is oh it's gold as well actually and this one pulls out of the room higher tiers prevent oversending filters and pull rates so it says high tiers not high tier but that's this so this oh is this and this so there's two the high tier of each one not multiple tiers that are considered high that's fine chapter complete well, that seems like a good way of ending it, doesn't it? Uh, pipe wrench. Use to configure pipes pipes. Shift right click on a pipe to switch between extract and insert. We've got proper... Oh, we like at pipes. Bronze. They're made of pretty pipes. So this is interesting. Um, That's very interesting because you've got... Yeah... These pipes are much better at actually transferring items around, but these pipes have this functionality. Now, I'm really intrigued by this because we do have AE2 in here. And we'll be getting there soon. Digital storage. Look how far away it is, right? Mechanism whip. <laughs> well, we're getting somewhere. So this is going to be useful for a very long time until we get into... Um, AE2 itself. So I'm thinking that we. So in between now and in the stream, which will be on Tuesday, yeah, a week today, because my brain got confused. It short circuited. I'm recording this ahead of time. I'm thinking, I'm not streaming on Tuesday. No, I'm releasing this video on Tuesday. From my perspective and from your perspective, the stream will be next Tuesday. Join me for that. We will be doing a lot more of this stuff. And in between now and then, I'm going to be looking at how this stuff works, okay? And probably putting something together on stream. So we'll be using this on stream. And in between, I'm going to work out how to use it. How to... Like, uh, this seems like it can make anything. But can it auto-craft? That's the question, right? So I think if you press this request button, it will grab everything from the thing and make it for you. But what I want to be able to do is to pipe things into it and have them just fall out of it. Right, so this 
because this for example doesn't know that this thing can craft anything so you can't request something that can be crafted does that make sense but it might still be quite powerful especially if we connect can connect it to this so i'm gonna have to figure out which ones of these we need to avoid which could be all of it quite honestly um so then in the stream let's talk about maybe we will do some of this stuff once i figured out how it works let's make some automation that can fill this up to the brim of all the things that are in it uh, and void everything that's extra we can do the same automation over there because we're don't, definitely going to want to automate grass if we're going to want to you know let our sheep regrow their wool and stuff like that um and then hopefully we can automate some crafting and stuff and maybe in the same stream if we've got time we can look at doing some more of these sort of basic ones where we need to work out how to get to the the, the um the nether stuff does spawn here so i need to do more digging that seems fine and then we have to go to the end at some point as well somehow endermen spawn in the end so how do we get to the end <laughs> Oh, they're here as well, look. So, we have to figure that one out. So, until the next time, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. Remember to leave a like and subscribe and go and check me out on Twitch. The link is in the description below. Also, join my Discord. The link is on the description below. And on Discord, you will hear about all the videos and other stuff that I am doing. And you'll be notified when the stream starts, which is very important because then you get to watch it. So, we'll figure out what we're doing then. I hope you've enjoyed this. We've learn some things and we've done some stuff and i guess i'll see you then bye